You are tuning in to the NeuroCorrective Podcast, where non-surgical joint, nerve, and wellness experts come together to discuss innovative cash-based solutions for peripheral neuropathy sufferers. Presented by the NeuroCorrective Wellness Institute with your host, Dr. Ophir Isaac. Today, I have a wonderful guest on the NeuroCorrective Podcast. Uh, Miss J is what we're going to call her to protect her name. She is a client of the NeuroCorrective Wellness Institute here in Brooklyn, New York. And she was so excited about her results and she caught me in the hallway today to tell me how wonderful she feels. And I just had to get that uh, on the podcast. So the guests listening today, whether you're a doctor or a clinician or a, uh, another uh, patient that's listening to this, uh, if you have been struggling with neuropathy and you have been struggling particularly with what they call chemo neuropathy or chemo denervation neuropathy due to some sort of uh, chemotherapy, this one will be really impactful because most people who have chemo and they have neuropathy, tingling, numbing, weakness, uh, balance issues, they think there's no hope for them and the doctors tell them you just have to live with it. It's not, your nerves are dead. And uh, I want to tell you that it's not true. Um, we have proof of multiple people and Miss J, I want to ask you, when you got to our clinic, uh, how did, you know, how, how are you feeling in terms of your mindset? When you saw us on Facebook, you say? Yes, I saw you on Facebook and I was kind of disheartened at the time because, you know, I didn't know if anything would work. You know, it seemed like from speaking with the doctors and friends and all, it just seemed like this was the way it was going to be. But I'm happy that I came in and I was able to see for myself and finally feel for myself. What exactly were you struggling with when you saw the uh, videos and stuff on Facebook that made you come here? What was it that you were concerned about? What were your symptoms at the time? Okay, well, I had neuropathy in my toes. My toes were numb. They were almost, I'd say, fused together and my toes were bent. So I couldn't move my toes. It was very difficult going up and down stairs getting around, doing what I had to do in my house. Uh, at night, I was in pain because the covers hurt my feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, moving around, just going to the bathroom, everything was really a chore. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said that uh, the reason behind this was it started all after chemo, correct? After chemo, yes. You they... had uh, bladder um, cancer? And no, I had, well, uterine cancer. Uterine cancer, mm -hmm. and they had to give you chemotherapy. Right. And when did the symptoms all begin uh, with these uh, strange sensations in your feet? Um, your hands weren't affected, correct? No, just, but just your feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes, if you're listening out there and you've struggled with this, um, you may have hand issues as well as um, hand and as well as feet issues, which mm -hmm. is very common with chemo denervation. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, many patients only just have feet issues, um, just like Miss um, J over here. So, um, you, how old are you? Seven. I'll be seventy-five in March. Seventy-five, and you were completely functional before, no cane, no Absolutely. walker, no nothing, right? Active. That's right. I did power walking. Power walking. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it must have been disheartening uh, that the doctors told you there was nothing that you can do after your chemo to get back your sensation in your feet and the power. Mm -hmm. Now you said your feet were kind of stu your toes were stuck together. Yeah, they, you know, like they they seem there was no space and I couldn't I couldn't move my toes on my own. Mm -hmm. So I mean, oh my goodness, the I'd say two or three days after two or three I had been here for two or three times mm -hmm. when I felt that I was actually able to move my toes in my shoes mm -hmm. on my own wow it was amazing so so you're saying after two or three times after your first consultation yes when we applied the um, what do we apply the laser treatments yes right the, mm -hmm. the deep tissue laser to get the, the blood flow working in the nerves right and we gave you the special device called um, Tesla 
to yeah. um, to focus on getting the power back to mm-hmm. the, the dead nerves mm-hmm. and regenerate those nerves. Right. Um, and we also gave you the um, artery pumps to get the um, the blood down to the toes uh, by ten times, really focusing the pumping action to get the blood going down. And that did you notice a change dramatically after those two or three sessions? I noticed the change. I know. I mean, I could feel my feet. And I hadn't been able to feel my feet in over a year. That's amazing. It might have been six, 15 months, but wow. it was so long that, you know, I was, I had just about given up. Mm-hmm. And so is this a true story? Am I, are we making this up? Is this, oh, uh, no. did I ask you to, did I pay you to say any of this? Was this solicited? Anything like that? No, you could pay me, but no, ah, you didn't. <laughs> right. But, but, um. But you know, you you also decided to purchase this um, wellness program in the Neurocorrective Wellness Institute, correct? Yes. Um, it was out of your own accord. Yeah. It was outside of your Medicare. Yeah. Because you wanted these services that would heal your nerves. Absolutely. And was it worth the investment? It was well worth the investment. What would you tell someone out there that has chemo denervation, or what they call neuropathy from chemo? Mm-hmm. Whether it be from a bladder issue or liver or metastatic disease, it's all the same. Mm-hmm. The symptoms are all going to be the same. Generally, it will affect your hands and your feet, and you'll mm-hmm. feel like you can't grip. You feel like you can't grip the floor. You were having problems gripping the floor, too, with your feet, you said, also, right? I couldn't do anything with my feet. Right. Mm-hmm. I could, were you losing I could your walk. balance at any point? My balance mm-hmm. was off. How's your balance now? My balance. I'm still working on my balance. Right. So, right. I mean, what are the... Let's let's shoot some holes in the program. Mm-hmm. So, what are the downfalls of the program? What are the things that they should, you know? It sounds too good to be true. So, what what you, you know, somebody out there who's skeptical and is like, ah, I don't know about that. What would you tell them? Hey, you know, is it like magical results overnight type of thing, or did it take a few know. times? No, it it takes some time. How how much time did you said after three visits you saw massive results? I saw results and and I mean the thing is you now just, you finished around what like twelve thirteen fourteen times at least right and inclusive of the exercises mm-hmm. the physical therapy alone didn't help you prior to that right until we started doing the treatments right right the treatments were very the helpful. treatments with the modalities the the neurocorrective wellness institute modalities and tools the lasers and the pumps and the stimulators to focus getting the blood flow back to those dead nerves and wake them up again and get the cells moving and get the swelling out of the feet. Mm -hmm. So the people out there that are on the fence going, oh, my insurance should pay and I'm I'm gonna just sit here and, you know, mope about my situation. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? Well, you know, I mean, I agree in a way. I wish the insurance would pay, but they don't. Because they're because these machines are considered wellness devices. Mm-hmm. There's no codes for them in the insurance. Right. We still have to give it to the clients. Right. We got to give you the opportunity to heal. Right. right. What right. if you didn't have this opportunity? That's right. How would you feel about that today? Well, you know, I said I have to spend myself my money on something, and I'm willing to invest in me. I want to be able to be independent again for my kids who are out of state not to have to worry about me. Right, for because those, if you fall, God forbid, oh, or... It's, and, and then my my uh, kids that are here, right. you know, they were just, they didn't have a life because they were wrapped up in me. You know, I have to be able to get around. My husband is in a nursing home now, so I go to see him every day. And it was very difficult walking to do that. But it's so nice to be able to walk and to not really be in pain like I was before. It's it's amazing. It is amazing. So would you tell other people out there about the Neurocorrective Wellness Institute? Is it just physical therapy that we do here? Or is it, 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 what would you, how would you describe it to other people that our technology, our methods, our approaches? Well, I mean, I don't really know the name of the little gadgets that you use, but I'm telling you, they were so helpful. The physical therapy worked and, and it strengthened in my legs, which were weak, but the, the little gadgets were the things that really helped me. I mean, I, 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 I just, you saw the difference between just the physical yes. care and strengthening and range of motion exercises yes. 
And then when you went for the more advanced stuff, that's when things happened, right. correct? You could see it. They told me because, you know, I said, oh, well. And you also said to me before, you said, hey, I couldn't even sleep on my stomach or put the sheets on my that's toes. That's right. Because it was too sensitive that's for right. a year. And then after the third or fourth visit, you said, yeah. what did you say about your sensitivity of your feet? I'm telling you, you now you slept I'm on your, able you to say? sleep on my stomach. stomach. And I was always a stomach sleeper. So to have to turn from side to side all night mm -hmm. and to be awake half the night. Because of what? Because my feet were aching. My mm -hmm. feet were tingling. My, mm -hmm. The covers, you know, I, I needed the covers. But then if I put the covers on, my feet were aching. Got it. So it was, it was really something. So but... there are people out on the fence really complaining about their medical health, saying, I can't believe I got chemo, God forbid, or... They went through all this stuff, and now they can't function. They got rid of their cancer, but they can't function. Right. What would you tell them to do? Would you tell them to, 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 to try the first time to come in here? Mm -hmm. I would tell them to come. I, I felt very comfortable on the first day with the consultation. Um, the person who interviewed me was very supportive, very nice. I mean, I, I was ready to try it. Near Corrective Podcast. Any questions or concerns, please feel free to email the doctor at info at allcarepte.com and reference the podcast you listen to. Neurocorrective Wellness Institute. High tech for high touch medicine.